the Milwaukee Bucks, a team with title expectations, big time title expectations, after bringing in Damian Lillard this offseason, getting rid of a shipping out a championship piece in Drew Holiday to Portland, which actually ended up landing him in Boston, their rivals, the team that their biggest competition in the Eastern Conference to get to that coveted NBA Finals. Now their former teammate plays on Boston, bringing in Damian Lillard. Now, can't nobody complain about making that move. I also think it was a good move. I also think it was the right move. So you don't want to let Miami or nobody else, other other team, get Damian Lillard. And now you have to face him and Boston and whatever other teams you have to face in the East. So I understand making that move completely. They probably didn't think Drew Holiday would end up in Boston. But it is what it is. They had to make that move. So they did start off real solid under Adrian Griffin. But I guess they just didn't have the start they wanted and they let him go as their head coach with the second best record in the Eastern Conference behind Boston. Even Adrian Griffin is supposed to be coaching in the All-Star game this weekend. But it's going to be Doc Rivers who actually has a 3-7 and seven record as the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks since they brought him in. So the big question is, now we're at the all-star break. Should the Milwaukee Bucks just go ahead and do what a lot of us know they should do, know what they should do, and that is go ahead and just admit they had made a mistake by hiring Doc Rivers. This wasn't the this wasn't the move to make. And go ahead and get rid of Doc Rivers. That's what I feel like the Bucks should do. After this, let him go ahead and coach in the All-Star game, because it probably should be. I'll get to it in a second. Doc's Last chance as a head coach. Go ahead and let him do his thing. Commentating them games at ESPN. That is a good lane for Doc. But as far as coaching the Milwaukee Bucks, y'all can look at it as an experiment. But after Sunday's game, go ahead and give Doc that notice. Hey, we, we're cutting it. We're cutting you, Doc. It just didn't work out this time. Go back to ESPN. Hey, maybe we'll see you in the NBA Finals as you're commentating our game. You just may never know, Doc. We'll both be in the NBA Finals, but we're not going to be in it as you with our head coach. So, what do the Bucks actually need? I'm going to tell you what they need to be their head coach right now to get them to the level they need to be on. They need some toughness. They need some grit. They need some grind about them because the NBA teams, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. The NBA teams right now, they think that the Milwaukee Bucks is soft. The Milwaukee Bucks is looked at as a soft team, especially now that they done brought Damian Lillard in and get rid of Drew Holiday, their defensive presence. Their best defensive player, Drew Holiday. People think that the Milwaukee Bucks is soft. You got the Lopez brothers. I think they finally don't cut Robin or sent him in away in a trade. But you got the Lopez brothers, WWE, and their wrestling moves in the in the hallway before the games. You got Giannis's brother. When he gets in the game, man, ain't nobody taking that man serious. Then you even got Giannis himself, people straight up making it intentional to disrespect Giannis. You had the Pacers taking his game ball when he broke the Milwaukee Bucks scoring record. You have the teams who are, who, I guess he was a couple different occasions. I can't remember exactly how it went right 
off the top of my head, but he was shooting free throws after the game, before the game, whatever. And basically, he gets into it with other players who are trying to, you know, punk him out of the basket he's on and different things like that. Now, you got to think, with what the level of player Giannis is on, he's supposed to be like the MJ or the Kobe. Do you think that those boys are going to let them go ahead and punk them like Giannis is doing? No, sir. They're not going to do that at all. So, Giannis needs a coach with some toughness. So, my suggestion is for the Milwaukee Bucks to get on, to go ahead and get rid of Doc Rivers. And now we're getting on the line with Udonis Haslam, the retired Miami Heat veteran. I would have said Jawan Howard, but I'm pretty sure Jawan is still coaching up there in Michigan. So the next best thing to get some toughness in there is to get on the phone with Adonis Haslam. I don't care what he knows as far as the X's and O's of basketball. What Udonis Haslam is going to bring to that Milwaukee Bucks locker room is some toughness. It probably what they actually lost when they um got when not they didn't get rid of Darvin Ham when Darvin Ham took the job in Los Angeles. That's probably what the Milwaukee Bucks lost is that coach in the mind coach in the locker room with that mindset of hey man. No, no, no. Ain't nobody coming out and punking us tonight. Ain't nobody coming out here and stepping on our toes tonight. If they step on our toes, hey, man, we got something for you. And the Milwaukee Bucks lost that when they got rid of Darvin Ham. And, and Doc Rivers, he only adds to the Lopez twin laughing, people laughing at them, doing WWE in the background. Giannis, his brother, doing whatever he do when he get on the court. Now they done brought Doc Rivers in as their head coach. So Doc Rivers, he done had some success with Boston. Either though, if you real NBA fans know, if you go, if you are an OG like me, you know going back to that championship year, then they won the won the championship. If you go back to the first round of the playoffs alone, the Boston Celtics almost lost to the Atlanta Hawks in the first round. It went either five games, five games or seven games, however many that the first rounds were going back then. Hey, it took them to maximum games just to beat the Atlanta Hawks. They almost didn't even get the even off the ground with that championship run. That was what he had. He had th that was the first super team there was. Nobody was expecting what to even do with that team. And Kobe was still able to knock them out the second time he faced him. He had faced him one time. He knew what to do. He knew what to be ready for the second time he faced him. Then they had to rebuild over in Boston. And Doc Rivers wasn't going to want... He said, I'm not capable of handling a team doing a rebuild. I need to get traded to the Clippers over here. He thought Blake Griffin. I mean, that just shows you his basketball analytical skills. Doc Rivers straight up thought that Blake Griffin was going to be a LeBron James level talent. But it didn't work out. But they stuck it through. The Clippers did. They didn't want to get rid of Doc through all the time he wasted at their organization. Not getting anywhere with the Clippers. Then they brought in Paul George and Kawhi. You would think that would be enough to get Doc to get, enough talent to get Doc to the finals at least. Not enough. They had to replace him with Ty Lue when he went to got another chance in Philadelphia to coach Joel L. Embiid and James Harden and Tyrese Maxey and Tobias Harris and all them. But the 76ers didn't feel like it was going to work out with Doc. He just wasn't going to be able to get to the promised land. So why did the Milwaukee Bucks or any other team moving forward think that Doc is going to be the one to get them to the promised land? I mean, this is no disrespect. 
it's just oh, it's just laid out in front of us what it it is what it is at this point doc i want to be happy to see you back announcing the games because i hope that the milwaukee bucks is smart enough to go ahead and do the necessarily some people are just not afraid to admit that they made a mistake Milwaukee Bucks, don't waste this time you have with Giannis and with Dane Lillard because you brought in Doc Rivers and you are afraid to admit that you made a mistake. Don't do that to us basketball fans. Us basketball fans want to see the Milwaukee Bucks with a top level co I mean, co coach. We don't, you don't even really have to do that with them. Bring in someone who's going to give this team some toughness. Bring in Yadonis Haslam. Get on the phone with Rashid Wallace. Get on the phone with Kenyon Martin. At least one of them. Try maybe one as your head coach, another one as your assistant coach. Then just bring in an offensive coordinator if that's really what you feel like you need. Other than that, they have enough experience. They'll figure out the rotation of whatever it is you felt like you needed to bring Doc Rivers into Milwaukee for. I'm sure that whatever coach I named, Rashid Wallace, Udonis Haslam, Kenyon Martin, somebody, Bill Lambeer, somebody who gonna implement some aggression to this team. I want to see Yona screaming again. I want to see him flexing his muscles again. I want to see Dane pointing at his wrist again. We need to see some aggression mentality out of this team and a coach that's going to implement that mentality, not whatever Doc Rivers has brought to the Milwaukee Bucks in the last 10 games.